There are many legendary bows in Odyssey, but which one is the best? Let's take a look at that in this video and I will of course also tell you where to get all the bows in the game. So if you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. Because there are multiple playstyles in Odyssey, it means that there are three best bows for every playstyle. There are two bows though that feature legendary perks that I would recommend on every bow. The first one is Eros's bow, the best bow in the game overall, thanks to the 50% chance to not consume special arrow legendary perk. So not all your arrows are lost, so you can use your special arrows way more often, like all the time. And the system kind of sucks right now where you have to go to the inventory menu to craft new arrows well you have to do that way less often and of course it saves you a ton of resources the extra adrenaline per hit is also really good making you able to do the super powerful hunter abilities again more often like of course the devastating shot and the multi shot you find this bow in a cave in a fort in Messenia over here on the map it's a level 35 to 39 region so that is of course the recommended level to sneak in and grab it but you can of course try to get there earlier and already grab the legendary perk because yes then you are able to engrave it on other bows even if you cannot use the Eros's bow yet this perk is even better when you are not the max level by the way because the resources will be way harder to come by while on the max level you easily have enough to craft the arrows you desire but yeah either way this Eros's bow stays the best compared to the other bows that enhance your hunter damage and that you can engrave this legendary perk on we got the artemis bow that you get from killing that boar i showed you in one of my earlier videos about the best weapons you can get early in the game but since the predator shot is not that good like you will not use it when fighting alerted enemies so that is already like one legendary perk wasted and we also got achilles's bow and i hope i pronounced it right that you get from a mercenary on level 21 but that bow can drop on your level like when i looted it i was level 22 and got it on level 22 the mercenary is called Medea the Marksman, but that might be different in your game. Just get a high bounty around the early 20s and he and his lion will show up. And you want that because this bow is great. It has the 20% damage with devastating shot perk. That is really insane because the devastating shot is by far one of the best abilities in the game. And that is for every playstyle, by the way. So having more damage with that is really good. This legendary bow also has the extra crit chance and I'm not a big fan of that on a bow because you will be aiming for the head like most of the time and that will be a guaranteed crit so that's why I think that Eros's bow with the extra adrenaline per hit is better and it also puts the devastating shot damage increase as an engraving on that one as well you also got another hunter bow in the helix store called fine bow that you will be able to get in an Olympian gift from the ecos of the Olympians store as well and he might sell it in the weekly selection too and when he does I will of course I'll let you know here on the channel so while I think that the Eros's bow is better than this one the legendary perk on the fine bow is still really really good since you would want to dodge the enemies anyways so having more damage in exchange for armor is a really good deal maybe that in combination with the Eros perk would be better than the extra devastating shot damage but I think that either combination is great and again like getting the fine bow will be based on luck because you have to get it from an Olympian gift or I can see it as part of a weekly selection from the Ecos of the Olympians as well so save up that Ori Chalcum or from the daily and weekly quest in order to buy it when it might be available one day and again I will keep you up to date on the weekly selection of this store starting October 9th so on Tuesday that is when the weekly reset happens when I go for my warrior playstyle, I use other legendary bows mostly the Hades bow that you get from a level 44 mercenary so again cause a ton of chaos around level 42 or later then this guy will show up and he will be shooting a ton of fire arrows at you so you are warned because that is the deal with this bow like all the arrows are instantly fire arrows and it also has the extra fire damage perk making the burning damage over time even stronger and I love to use this with my fire warrior build with the mallet of the everlasting flame and the Agamemnon set and yes the minotaur helm as well I made a video on that combination and where you can get this minotaur helm and you can watch that by clicking on the screen for engraving I put the extra devastating shot damage perk on the Hades bow to make it even stronger we also got another warrior bow the 
Heraclesis bow that has the legendary bull rush ability damage increase perk onto it. But I don't really like use the bull rush ability for the damage so that already makes this one less interesting. You by the way find it over here on the map on Tezos a level 42 to 48 region. There is some plus damage for a charged shot and that is nice but again the legendary perk is not that great and as far as I know there are no other warrior bows in the game so that's why I would recommend the Hades bow for the warrior players. There are also a bunch of assassin bows and I think I got by the way all the legendary bows in the game since I did all the three storylines and also got all the legendary chests in the world. Anyway we got Paris's bow you get from an objective later in the family storyline that has 20% damage with the ghost arrows and that can be nice for an assassin for sure to kill the enemies by shooting through the wall. And we got the fanged bow as well that you can find over here in a legendary chest and I want to thank Fragnard a German YouTuber for that one since he made a video on it and that's how I found it. So he's a really good guy. If you are German, totally check out his channel. I put a link in the description down below. This fang bow makes arrows instantly poisoned and also increases the damage. So it's basically the Hades bow but then for poison. And I think that fire in general is like better because it can also spread and in my experience deals more damage. And you don't really want to like use poison damage when doing a stealth playthrough. So that's why I would prefer the Paris's bow and the ghost arrow enhancement. And then puts the 50% chance to not consume special arrows or extra devastating shot damage perk onto it. It kind of depends on what you would prefer. If you by the way want the pretty cool hunter out that I've been using a lot in this video, the Artemis Legendary set and also the Death Arrows that are just overall better than the normal arrows in the game. Like especially with the Legendary perk that has a chance to not consume them. Anyway, if you want to get them, follow the Artemis story quest where you have to kill all the legendary animals in the world. The rewards will be noted per quest, but of course in the end you want to do all the legendary animals to fully enhance your hunter playstyle. Subscribe for everything at Assassin's Creed Odyssey if you haven't already. I got way more tips and tricks, in-depth looks at weapons and way more on the channel and coming your way. Like this video to support the channel, check for some of my video on the best weapons you get from the mythical creatures in the game and I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.